Here is one of the favorites for the gold medal and to earn a spot at the Olympics. 25 years old now from Colorado, Mariah Bell. Adam Rippon, one of her coaches, along with Rafael Artunian, who coaches Nathan Chen, among others. There's Adam. What will get Mariah Bell on the Olympic team this weekend is this next jumping pass, the triple triple. She needs it. Triple flip. Triple wow. double. Good. Oh my goodness. Mariah Bell delivers under pressure. She has not hit that element all week cleanly that I have seen. She is a true competitor. When it counts. Practice, we're not talking about practice. Save your best for game time. Terry, they're not judging practice. They're judging the competition. That's actually part of the criteria to make the Olympic team. Competitiveness, consistency, and trending scores. That was competitive. And beyond just her technical feats in this short program, it's the way that she emotes. It's never forced. It feels so authentic. Johnny, she reminds me of a Care Bear, that she's just <laughs> shining this bright light everywhere, radiating this joy and emotion. She loves to be out there. She, is bo she was born to compete and perform. That was an amazing short program. Tremendous performance, literally. We've seen all the practices, literally not one clean triple-triple this entire week in Nashville until the short program, until it counts. And that takes true grit, true determination. Let's look at it here. She was flying into this. More speed, more power, more determination than we've seen all week. Beautiful knee bend there. Nice soft pop up into the air. Digs deep for this triple toe loop. And it was clean. They yep. reviewed it, but it was clean. I was going to have a problem with them <laughs> if they did not call that clean. But All of her jumps, the cleanliness, it was effortless. And again, it, at this point in the game, 99% of it is mental. All of these women are doing the same elements. It really matters who can deliver under the bright lights. The thing is, Mariah Bell is, is timeless. She's done very similar elements for, for years and years and years, but somehow she still manages to make it fresh, make it relatable, bring you into the performance. Beautiful triple lutz there. There's just this overwhelming warmth 
that she brings to the arena. And it's wonderful to see. I mean, you look at a skater at 25 in the women's competition, a decade older than the Olympic gold medal favorite, and she can still create the most magical competitive moments. Adam Rippon, of course, reacting like that. He was... He can still jump. <laughs> he can still jump. He's still got hops, Terrence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I but, still have chills right now. It, it, that was so good. Guys, here's the thing about the short program in an Olympic year at a national championship. Yes, it does come down to the free skate. Who's going to win the gold medal? Solidify the spot. But you can take yourself out of it with mistakes in the short program here. As we've already seen in this competition. Yes. And, and not only take yourself out of having a chance for the gold medal, but a spot on the Olympic team. So now they wait for numbers that they know will be good. It's going to be a very nice score. She gets great grade of execution and great component scores in addition to the base value of those technical elements. Going to get close to 80. Midway, 75 and change. Close. I'm on the plus side, yeah. it's close. Yeah. Tactical numbers better than the program components. How about that, though? Mariah Bell coming through in the short program. 